Hello, my cover free nation entrepreneurs and fellow hustlers. This is your girl, Mickey Monikett. Welcome to my kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make flat stomach tea. Okay, a lot of you, there seems to be quite a bit of confusion as to how to make a flat stomach tea. So, first, I'm going to boil water. So, that's a liter of water of a flat stomach tea. Remember, we've got two variants. I'm going to start with one with the leaves as the water is boiling. So I'm going to reach out, get the tea. It comes sealed, so I'm just using a pair of scissors. <laughs> okay. Inside, you've got the green and the red packet. This is flat stomach tea with moringa the leaves and this is capsicum the powder okay outside in the box the directions are written as to how to use your tea so it's one teaspoon of the green half a teaspoon of the red okay so i'm gonna get that teaspoon cut it up I'm just gonna use a teapot. Remember, you strain it because it's leaves. Oh, beautiful! It smells so fresh because of the mint. Remember, the mint aids with digestion and reduces the bloat as well. So I'm just gonna take a teaspoon of that. That's my little set. Makes it so much easier. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna close it. My water is boiled. So now I'm just gonna put it in there. That's my one liter of hot boiling water. That's it. And then in there, I'm going to add half a teaspoon only. For those, if it's too hot for you, you can start with a quarter teaspoon until you can build a tolerance for it. Oops, I flew into that. So then, I'm just gonna add it. And then, reseal, put it back in there. So I'm just gonna give it about 10 to 15 minutes. And voila, that's how you make your tea. Just gonna clean up a bit. Our 15 minutes now, it's over guys, and my tea is ready. As you'll remember, I've got a strainer. So there's my tea. You can actually reuse the herbs to, to cook if you want to. And for those who don't have that type of strainer, you can just buy this you know the one that my grandmother used to use can use that as an alternative some people just drink the leaves as well so i'm just gonna pour out my tea it smells delicious add some lemons if you don't have fresh lemon you can just use the you know that liquid one because you know lemon sometimes comes out i mean it's not in season and gets quite expensive so you use that and that's my tea it's actually quite delicious you don't need anything else and for those that are saying it's too spicy remember when you add the lemon to it actually it reduces the the heat and lemon is fantastic also for weight loss and balancing your ph levels and one of the, one of the reasons why you use capsicum is because it speeds up your metabolism naturally and helps you with your weight loss goals lastly one of the questions that we've been receiving from you is that i don't want to lose weight i just want to lose mkaba but the reason why you've gotten kaba in the first place because your body fat percentage is higher so that's why you've gotten kaba so you might think that you don't have any fat it's not only located on the stomach you might also have fat in other areas as well so that's why some of you will experience an overall body fat uh, loss so what our recommendation is is that once you've achieved your goal you stop with the red one and you continue with the green one which is just the flat stomach tea on its own 
to help you be bloat free and just feel at ease. So yeah, enjoy your tea. Have a sparkling day. If you've got any further questions, please do not hesitate to ask us. 061313-9218. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be sharing so many motivational uh, videos, whether it's your tea, it's uh, weight loss, or whether it's on entrepreneurship, starting up your business with very little money and how to grow your business. So different areas that actually interest us. We're hoping that it will interest you as well. Anyway, have a power day. Ciao.